All right, guys, so you know how it is throughout the season. Things just kind of become a mess. Some bags that we had put down here had ripped open, so I'm kind of going through that. As you saw, I did the uh, lazy man's way of sweeping the floor, just blew it out with the backpack real quick. Uh, the main things I was searching for were my lights. Got to get lights back on the trucks. And then uh, I'm going to get the trailer unloaded for lawn care, possibly for the last time for the 2022 season. And uh, yeah, this is kind of what I'm doing. I'm kind of, this has always been my junk drawer. So I'm just kind of throwing stuff down in there. Then these locks, I'm not sure if TQ wants to hold on to them because we did order brand spanking new locks. That's what's in those brown boxes there uh, for the storage units. Uh, so I don't know if she wants to hold on to those. We still have keys for them. So I'm not gonna chuck them just yet. Uh, gathering up gloves as well, which there's a ton in here. This is just a mess. Gotta get some more of these ordered. I did like having the uh, the hats. I might look to see if they got something a little bit thicker. But yeah, just that's a new lock. I think this tub actually got dumped. That's what's all over the floor here. But uh, receipts, gotta have those receipts. Just a ton of stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just working through it here. I really, I like to have everything in order. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do like to have things in place so when I need them I can just grab them very quickly but uh yeah also the season kind of takes hold so yeah that's what I'm doing here trying to be productive on this day where I don't have TQ currently by myself just me and uh what they call him Wilson <laughs> castaway anyways TQ, her back is killing her. And uh, she needed the day off just to uh, recover. Using that vac hose, guys, that thing will put a whooping on your body in places that you don't uh, use all the time. So yesterday was really the first time I let her get on it. And simply was, I needed a little bit of a break from it. But, uh, still did the majority of it you know I'm, i don't want her swinging that thing too much you know it's that thing's no joke guys like if you've never ran one please don't underestimate if you're looking to get into that how much work it's going to be i would highly suggest you uh to try one out before you went and bought one with that being said they do have smaller ones that are a little bit lighter obviously you're going to be a little bit slower uh we chose to be as fast and efficient as possible if it's a curbside I want to be 10 minutes and under and we can pick up as many as we can get to uh throughout the day the original plan was to have a, a team of guys you know and gals to help out with that so that we could run through you know with three or four people we could run through 15 of those a day 10 15 whatever uh the biggest part of that is just planning them all out and getting to them before the competition gets to them uh, because the new cool thing, I guess, this year was to start scalping people's piles. Uh, customers will call, set up a date, you know, and this isn't all customers, you know, or all the time, but it's becoming a bit more frequent. So a customer will call you, hey, my leads are at the curb, used you guys in the past, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're ready. Okay, we're going to be in your area on Wednesday. It's Monday. All right, thank you. Well, you get there Wednesday, leads are gone. Call a customer, hey, uh, we're at your location. I just want to make sure you don't have them in a spot that we don't see. Oh, such and such stopped by on Monday afternoon and said they would do them for X amount of dollars. And I just thought, hey, go for it. They're there, get them cleaned up and don't call you and let you know. So it's an unfortunate part of the business, but uh, I have seen uh, my buddy Dan, I just seen he put up a post as well because it got so cold so quickly. A lot of the city municipalities and townships that have the trucks that go out and do them for their communities are canceling early. So they're not even doing all their cleanups. So we're gonna keep the vac together as long as we possibly can. And as long as they don't freeze to the ground or we get a large amount of snow, we're gonna continue doing cleanups because, you know, why not stay busy and productive? Uh, we're currently still not through all of our customers just yet, but it would just be dumb of me to go out here by myself uh, today and try to do curbside pickups, uh, constantly having to jump back in and out of the truck, go back, suck up, you know, 12 feet, move it forward, yada, yada, yada. 
All right, guys, so I wanted to stop here by this customers real quick. If you guys remember, we did that small little, I won't say retaining wall, just a architectural wall. And uh, she had the fence put in. So I wanted to kind of share your, with you guys with that. The fence isn't exactly how I thought they would have put it in, but it doesn't look bad. So if you guys remember, we came in, we put that wall in. That fence was should have been out a bit further, but it looks like they kicked it back some. So, yeah, figured I was here. Let's show you guys it real quick. Yeah, wasn't exactly how I would have done the fence, but I did suggest to her to uh, put a form of protection on the wood. But from the way I understand it, she's going to sell the house now. So I don't know if she's going to worry about it or uh, just let the new owners do it. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this freezing cold Ohio day? So here at the storage facility, this is not our storage facility. But believe it or not, the folks that own this storage facility actually sold us our storage facility. And I'm hoping that someday, whenever they're ready to uh, retire and whatever, they will sell me this location as well. With that being said, they reached out to us and asked us if we were interested in taking over their snow removal. I said, absolutely. We have quite a few right here in the area. And uh, I just told her I've never seen it in person. I have driven by it, but uh, we would come over and take a look at it. So that's currently what I'm doing. Uh, it is a gravel unit, so probably the, excuse me guys, burping, the majority of it here will be pushed to the back. I may even just windrow most of it towards this ditch. I'm not sure if you can pick that up or not, but there's actually a ditch here. Windrow away, and uh, it looked like maybe this corner would just be a little unique because there's units on both sides. So back drag here, back drag here, and then pull it away. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go behind this one to get to the other side real quick. So, no, I can't. So, just all pretty much grass back here. Looks like a, maybe a creek or something back there. I probably could walk all the way around, but hey, I'm not going to walk through all the muddy area. And I don't want anybody to be like, hey, what's that guy doing? So I'm going to fast forward all this. I'll come back to you when I get around the front. All right. So this is the other side of the building. Pretty much exactly the same as the other one. It's almost like a big T. So it comes straight in and then off the back side there. Kind of a unique way they did this place, honestly. A lot like our place. So I believe the lady that owns this one, her father built our location and this location. So definitely different and they definitely do them a lot different uh, today. So pretty much the same exact thing. We'll just, you can see right there where my truck is. We'll uh, windrow it from the building out into a ditch area that's here. And then the back side, I mean, there's just a board here, so really nothing around the back side. So easy enough, won't be any salt on this one, uh, just simply snow plowing. Looks like brand new roof they put on this location though, because I noticed there's no gutters yet. So I don't know. Anyways, I'll bring you back in one second. Just gonna drive this one because there's no point really getting out and walking to the other side. Simply, it's like three parking lots. So there's one on the on the other side, one where I'm currently at, and then another one across the street here. So the sidewalks, they didn't mention, so I'm gonna email about that. I didn't even notice them when I looked on the Element software as well. Uh, but simply, the majority of this one I'm going to uh, do on the software. So I'll come in, I'll measure out all the parking lot. The old school way, you know, we used to get out with a wheel, measuring wheel, and we'd do length times width and get your square footage. It's just a lot easier to get my square footage for salt and uh, a really good easy way for you guys to figure out how much salt you're going to lose. So 
we've been using it now for what four or five years i've showed you guys that have been around a long time excuse me uh how we do that on the software so here's the other little parking lot which this one doesn't seem bad the biggest part is i don't know where they're going to want me to put the snow so it's kind of a uh an issue so what you normally will do is you don't want to put it up against the building you uh you want to have it away from the building just simply these are all parking spots so this is an option but there's a door here and then i guess you could put it back over here on the corner but that's going to fill up very very quickly if we get a good sized snowstorm i got to mention to them about the walkways uh, because they didn't mention anything in the request Cleaned up. I'm gonna show you something kind of cool. Well, at least I think it's kind of cool. So much Your <sighs> you go back in the house, all these gloves and hats and stuff you need carried in a wash, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Want to say hi to everybody real quick? Oh, there's my winter gloves. Kinda, hi, everyone. <laughs> kind of dark. I was telling him your back was hurting this morning. Yeah, it was a little, a little off, but I'm a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Getting it, uh, getting it a little bit better. Looks good. You're doing a good job. It's not warm out here. No, it's not. But if you stay moving, you, uh. You can kind of stay warm. It's it's still snowing a little bit. Yep. Miley's excited about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not so much yet. Uh, well, are you wanting um, a burger? Yeah. Here, you want to film for me real quick? I was just wanting to show them this. I don't got a whole lot of room. So I told you I had something kind of cool to show you. Noah picked this up for me down at the Equip Expo. So this thing is called... The Chain Locker Pro Series. So basically you can hold all your chainsaw blades, which I have a ton more. They're just in the trucks, so I gotta get them. But basically it can fit, the way I understand it, about any chainsaw blade, right? On the right side here. Maybe I'm supposed to go down one side. So like that. And the concept is, is that, uh, let's go and get that one out. You can kind of pretty much put like all of your sharp blades on one side and your dull blades on another. What was that supposed to be good down I don't remember exactly how you use this thing. It's been a little bit, so. Go. 
So just a nice convenient way to uh, carry all your chainsaw blades where they're not all over the place or you're looking all over for them because we all have different sizes. I mean, from little uh, the little chainsaw TQ likes to use all the way up to my 500i, but very big thank you to Noah for that. That's gonna be really cool. And then you can just uh, hang it up. There you go, up and out of the way. So got a little bit more here I'm gonna do. I got a bunch of signs down there. I gotta get consolidated. I think this shelf I'm gonna end up turning eventually over by that door so that I have access to it from both sides. So I'm gonna plug this, I already recorded the ending, but I forgot I had to put the mowers away. So that's what it looks like with those two in there. I gotta get the other two off real quick and uh, we'll still have a little pathway. We'll just put boom, boom, two more mowers and yeah, good productive day. So I went ahead and changed that around. I'll see how I like it. If anything, I can change it back. But I wanted to show you these new signs that we got from UZ Marketing. Link will be down in the description. Super affordable guys, double-sided. Look at that. I have horrible lighting. Actually, I have zero lighting in here other than what's coming through that door. But uh, yeah, looks absolutely awesome. If you guys need signs, they work phenomenal. As you guys know, we've been using these for years. Here's a leaf removal sign. We're kind of getting low on those, to be honest with you. And then we have the snow removal signs. Bandit signs have been around a extremely long time and have worked out really, really well for us. Make sure you have a good website as well. Make sure you're active on Google for your SEO. But uh, I'm about to wrap this one up. I'm running out of battery for one, for two, I'm froze. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ up, peace, bye.